Another component that might affect the permissibility of trading in a certain stock is what's called the haram assets or the prohibited assets. If you take the retail stores, like the well-known retail stores in the U.S., take uh, uh, Walmart, uh, Walgreen, uh, CVS, uh, maybe uh, uh, Target, and on and on, you will find out easily that the vast majority of the merchandise that they offer for their customers are halal by default. However, uh, some of them, or all of them actually, do have some pure haram products, okay, uh, liquor products, pork products, okay. How big or small the percentage of profit that, you know, comes from those two different components, the liquor products and the pork products, we do not know. We need to investigate, we need to find out. On the other hand, it's close to impossible to find a, you know, a, a store, a retail store, that does not offer any haram products. We need to strike a balance here, okay, by just looking for the minimum, minimum uh, haram assets available. Because again, I mean, if, if having a pure halal stock that does not have any haram assets, or otherwise any haram uh, investment, then we should go with the minimum haram assets and the minimum haram investment as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَاتَّقُوا فَاتَّقُوا مَا استطعتم. So as I said here in the, in the last uh, point that haram assets percentage should be to the minimum because again like ha having haram free or there is no haram components you know coming from uh, haram assets or, or, or haram investment is close to impossible right so let's go just with the with the minimum and move on with our investment. How to purify that that you know certain percentage that came from haram? That inshallah will be our discussion in the next few uh, few slides.